the lovely 2005 Sienna getting a cat back exhaust. In this corner, we got the BRE exhaust muffler. Lots of spray painting. Not sure why. And so then we got the tailpipe and what's this thing? Oh no. Don't tell me it doesn't slip over. They chopped the pipe. Oh no. So that's why you got two clamps here. Hmm. So that's the tailpipe, which is also 16 gauge. And then we have I purchased you can see the different color in steel, so I'm not sure why. Those ones have that galvanizing look. But this is, uh, I haven't even seen this type of thing on eBay. Huh. All right. I, don't, I don't know how to use those slip fit thingies, so I'm probably gonna have to weld this together. <laughs> 16 gauge steel. Walker is, uh, this is some beautiful looking steel. They definitely have stepped their game up since I was a kid. So we got the walker pipe there. You are watching this video because you have nothing better to do. And that's where the cut's gonna be at. Pro tip, I learned when you cut the pipe, make sure it's still in the hangers because it'll come down on your head. I only did that once, never again. Muffler hanger number one. Can't believe I'm filming this. Oh, what a beautiful set of pliers. I love these pliers. Muffler hanger number two. Oh, that wasn't my head this time. I learned that the first time. Ever so gently, we are going to pull this out and not hit ourselves in the head when it comes down. Oh yeah, look at that, see? Sometimes you gotta learn things the hard way in life and you never forget. Carefully, let's take this out. Only need to do one the other. Catalytic converter check, nice and clean. <laughs> In case I'm feeling lucky today, I'm going to knock the surface rust off, let the uh, CO2 and the argon mix do its cleaning action, and uh, maybe I'll weld to that old pipe and hopefully it doesn't blow through. Put it up in these mounts. Alright, then take our tailpipe thingy. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting here as a gap. Okay, we are going to mock this thing up. Oh, yeah, beautiful there. And eventually, we'll put those hangers in. Let me see how they're looking back. Here. Okay. Oh no. Oh no no no. What's BRE? There's no there's no bolts. I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store. Oh come on. Look at that. Before the guy took a hacksaw to it, he put some lines on there and they perfectly line up. Look how beautiful that used to be. Then when I come back here. It's perfect. It spaces out to the bumper. So I'm gonna have to butt weld this thing if I want it done nicely. Man, I'm filming a YouTube video here. The show must go on. 
It's not like I was gonna use those exhaust clamps, but as you can see, who knows what kind of nut they welded on the back, and the old screws are too rusty to take out, so I'm gonna have to uh, measure those threads and go to the harvester and get a nice stainless bolt. So there's a good use for your, uh, your exhaust clamps for mocking the system up. So it almost hits perfect. So then we file back, file back. Basically, if they fire the guy that takes a hacksaw to this nice pipe, but at least he puts some lines because he knows what he's doing is uh, it's gonna make people angry. You just weld it back together and this system fits pretty good. All right, let's see if we can go tack, tack, tack so it goes crack, crack, crack. The other trick to welding exhaust is that you want to put as many tech welds as you can around it because that thin metal when you start laying beads likes to warp so that's why you want to keep it as tight as tack welded as you can. You can kind of see it in the camera but the pipe when I laid this just this one inch bead here you see how the pipe looks like it kind of flattened out and it's distorting that's why you want to put a lot of tacks down. So then you have to drop the exhaust for your last weld to keep it straight and then you can get your nice bead over the top and close it off on the side where you started. So I was feeling lucky today and decided to weld to that rust. It's welding pretty good. I'm doing a little bit at a time. I'm letting it cool because I don't want to blow it through that old metal. Slip in the crush gasket and it's an M10 by 1.25. Sounds great. Looks pretty good.